Good morning. It's 8.03 and I'm going to try an experiment this morning. Baby just woke up. I was up for a while. Haven't weighed myself yet though. Um, I'm seasoning up a 2.86 pound tri-tip steak roast. Um, I'm going to attempt to try to cook in my air fryer, in my um, Drew Barrymore air fryer. So I'm going to see how that turns out. Um, and um, I'll check my ketones. I don't know if I'm in ketosis or not. I'll check my uh, glucose and everything, but I'm just seasoning with salt right now. There's salt I could use on BBB and E, but um, the fat and everything has already been trimmed off, so no papa. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put this in the air fryer and uh, I looked online, it says 10 minutes per pound, so since it's a 2.8, six pound, um, maybe 25 minutes. So let me get this in here. And I did preheat my air fryer for a few minutes. So I'll get back with you in a second. how I feel about eggs, hard boiled eggs at that. So I'm going to do the 555 method, high pressure. I'm sealed up here for um, trying to make some egg salad. Um, I have seven eggs on my trivet. This will go off for the five min minutes. Then I'll do a um, natural release for five minutes and then toss it in the ice bath for another five minutes and hopefully I can peel them well enough and then I'll use my butter mayo to make egg salad. My eggs are done. Um, instant pot pressure, five minutes. Five minutes natural release, and then five minutes in the ice bath. 27 minutes is what I put it in for, being as 2.86 pounds. Um, it's reading 126 degrees, so I'm gonna take it out and let it rest, and then I'll cover up, but that's what it came out on the air fryer. All right, it's 9.21. Um, I just cut into her, um, and that's how she came out, a nice rare to medium rare, and you see she's still leaking. So I'm going to cut this up, and I'm trying to see as far as which way the grain goes, because I know you have to cut it a certain way. So, uh, that's all I'm just going to do right now. Let me cut me a piece so I can taste it. Leak and juicy. And it's just Redmond's. Redmond's real salt. Sometimes I surprise myself with my, my cooking experiments, but... So, I cut up the tri-tip and put it in two separate containers. That way I can, you know, just reheat it. But I'm giving these eggs a try. As far as peeling goes with a spoon. 
The eggs do not like me at all. They don't. They don't like me. So, as far as a clean peel, that didn't work. Obviously, since my car got stolen, I haven't been able to sleep decently, you know. Then I'm getting alerts and things off of Facebook about, um, well, yesterday, for instance, there was a high-speed chase about 30 miles out of town. And it happened to be a Nissan Ultima. Um, I got notified about that from one of the Facebook groups I'm in for my area. And I called the officer. They gave me all the officer's information and the impel lot information. And the officer mentioned that it was a 20, it was a 2003 Nissan instead of my Nissan. So that kind of made my heart sink <laughs> even more. I'm like, I thought we might have had a, you know, a chance of finding her. But he's like, if it was your car, you wouldn't have wanted it back anyway. He's like, the chase, um, was going for 120 miles an hour the vehicle was topping out at so i'm like oh yeah they that, that that's pretty much a total loss right there um also um i have to call my insurance today and speak with my adjuster and you know things like that these aren't coming out perfect and i'm not really worried about it um so Find out from them with Geico what's going on, what are my options. Um, even if I do have rental car insurance coverage, I don't have the money for the deposit, so that'll be something I'm gonna have to worry about later in the week when my husband gets paid. My car insurance, my car payment, first payment is due today, so I wanted to see if they can defer that back until the 21st when I get paid from my job that I'm no longer currently working at. Um, I put in an application for the job that I did work remotely before, and, um, I spoke with my director there, and I did get the second step in the process, so, as far as working remotely, that's likely a possibility, being that I don't have a car to get to my other job where I have to travel to see my residents, um, a lot of my day. I'll be there in a minute, Pop. I'm just peeling these eggs, okay? So, um, yep. That's all that's going on right now. So, let me peel these last two eggs. And, um, I'll probably just make a big old thing of uh, egg salad, being that they're not all coming out pretty, even though I'm using the shell method. Um,. I know there's a method where you use like a mem, like you gotta get underneath the membrane of the shell for it to actually work. But I'm not losing a lot of, of the egg whites, and as you guys know, with carnivore, the yolk is the most important. But I'm just gonna rinse these off um, to get whatever resid, you know, residual shell might be on it. Um, use my butter mayo, make egg salad, and call it a, a day. So, I just want to find my car. I just want to find my car. So my husband came home from work. I got a little man back there. Um, we went to walk to Winko to pick him up some milk. Sorry, it's windy, but we're walking down a hill. Going up this hill was a different story. But not only did we stop and get some milk for the baby, I also got an alert that my Amazon order arrived today at the Ross in the same plaza. So, when I get home, 
I'll show you exactly what came in as far as my order that took forever to come. I ordered it the same time I ordered that little bamboo salt container. So I'll check in with you guys when we get home. Say bye, Junior. Junior. <laughs> there he goes. So. He's just, you know, looking around right now. He likes being outdoors. So now that the weather is going to start to get better, being Reno's just now waking up to summertime, we can definitely get out more. So, yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you when you get home. Okay, so we're home. It really wasn't that long of a walk, but when you're carrying an extra weight as far as your child goes, it makes it seem like a longer trip. Ah! What you doing, silly? Oh, what you doing, silly boy? Playing with your little calf? She pushed the button. <laughs> she got you! She got you, man! Push the button, push the button. Push your button. <laughs> Push your button. So, um, what was in the package was my Redmond's Real Salt. And we did open it because I wanted to smell it. And the smell is uh, very, very strong. Um, I got the Redmond's Real Salt Smoked Redmond's Real Salt Chef's Blend. And this is a small batch okay this took longer to come rather than um the bamboo uh bamboo container it says it's just wood um blue smoke and slow smoking bold and robust um 200 and it's so, it's so it's written so small, but I'll go ahead and I'll insert a picture of the back and the ingredients in it to salt and flavoring. So, um, I don't know what I could use it for. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But, yeah, guys, my Redmond's Real Salt came in. But, yeah. What you laughing at? Hmm? You laughing at silly boy. Hmm? Too laughing at. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all guys later.